Hi, welcome to In a Pickle Knitting and episode nine of Some Bunny Loves You. My name is Donna. I'm coming to you from Manassas, Virginia, and today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. I have today a short craft that's bunny related and a bunny related children's literature book. So let's get started. The craft today is a card. So card making is a hobby that I don't spend as much time on as I'd like to and as I used to, but I always love making cards or things for scrapbooking using those same paper crafting skills. This card was inspired from a card that I saw on Pinterest, and I'm gonna put a picture of that here so that we can give credit, or I can give credit to the person who actually created this, and you can have a look at that version and my take off on that because of course you don't always have the same die cuts or the same embossing folders or the same colors of paper or the same sentiments but you can take an idea and get started with it so this is an Easter card that has a chocolate bunny on it and as you can see it has a um, a printed paper here that's a plaid and although it's hard to see especially here the bow on the bunny was made out of the same paper and I tried to cut some grass here I do have a die cut that will do grass but it was way bigger grass I was thinking oh I got that grass but it was so big that it just didn't work and the happy Easter with the bunny I mean the button next to it Something should be going through this, but I do not have the right kind of cording right now to tie a little cording bow or something. So I might just leave it as is. I'm thinking of taking it off and maybe trying something else or finding something else for that spot. But I do like to have something there. I have the little tiny pin dots done with an embossing folder here. This is a little bunny, so it's a chocolate bunny. And this card I decided to have open this way. And I did have a stamp that said, Some Bunny Loves You. So I put that stamp inside. And of course, it, I had a pre-purchased envelope in this case. And I think this will probably go to my parents for Easter. So a bunny craft of a card. There were lots of ideas that I saw with bunnies. So if you were on Pinterest, which is my main inspiration spot, if you were to search for bunny cards or rabbit cards, you would come up with a lot of different things to choose from. So that's the craft for today. And the book that I have for today is a favorite. It was a favorite when I was working in the library. Children absolutely love anything really that is written by Mo Willems. He is a wonderful writer for children because he gets them with the humor. He writes very humorous books. The Pigeon series, which is ever popular. The Elephant and Piggy series, which is a wonderful beginning reader book. And in our school library, we could not keep those books on the shelf. And we had probably 25 to 30 of them. And they would be gone every single day. Well, there is another series. There are three books in this series. This is the very first one. It is called Knuffle Bunny, A Cautionary Tale by Mo Willems. Now, this is pronounced Knuffle, and you find that out in the second book, particularly because a situation in, involving I, almost identical bunnies comes about, and one is named Nuffle Bunny, as you would expect that silent K, and Trixie, bunny is kind of a bunny now Trixie is the real daughter of Mo Willems so he has put her into a story about her Knuffle bunny I love the way in this book this series the illustrations are done because they involve both real pictures as you can see the laundromat there you have a real photograph in a laundromat and then the cartoon drawings by Mo Willems and of course he illustrates and writes the books what happens in Knuffle Bunny? And there is Daddy and Trixie leaving the uh, apartment, the house, townhouse, I guess. And, and they are in New York, and Mom's staying behind, and they are headed to the laundromat where Daddy is helping, um, or Trixie is helping Dad with the laundry. So they go through the park, and 
Trixie's just la 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 with her knuffle bunny all the way and they go past the school and they get to the laundromat and once inside there Trixie's helping her daddy put clothes into the washer. Now right there is a little bit of foreshadowing as you see daddy's watching Trixie and the laundry and you know what's going to happen. Well yes Knuffle Bunny ends up in the washing machine but at first no one realizes it and she is pre-verbal and is trying to tell her daddy what's wrong that Knuffle Bunny's not with her and it's Ackle Flackle Clackle and daddy's like that's right replies daddy because he hasn't a clue what she's talking about so she screams it and then try some other words that aren't really words. And finally, she just has to let loose and just balls. And Daddy is kind of beside himself, as parents might be when their children have these sorts of public fits. And they, by the time they get home, uh, Daddy's pretty unhappy, as, of course, is Trixie. But the first thing Mom says is, Where's Knuffle Bunny? And the family hightails it back. And eventually they do get reun uh, Trixie reunited with Knuffle Bunny. And as it happens, we get to that last page. She yells, Knuffle Bunny. And those are the first words that Trixie ever said. You can purchase a stuffed Knuffle Bunny. We have one. Um, it's not at my house or I would show it to you right now. And Knuffle Bunny is a favorite story. It's funny, the illustrations are wonderful, and it tells a story that young children can relate to. So there's our bunny for today, Knuffle Bunny. And that's what I have for you today. I probably have some pictures at the end. We had a, a busy day. We were making potions and building with Canucks, which is, um, I like to build things with Canucks and Legos and anything else. But everything that my grandson wants built, he wants the biggest thing that he can't really do. But I have had him helping with small pieces, like when there's a repetitious set of things. I've said, okay, here's one. Make three more of these. And he can do that. And so he is participating with it. But it's a lot of building for me. So today we built the mixer, and that mixer was used all day long. And as I said, we did potions, and we had uh, our story today was Yeti, and the, I'm going to say the title wrong, but it's the Yeti and the Spaghetti, and then played the game, the Yeti and the Spaghetti, or the Yetis and my Spaghetti, something like that. Yeti and Spaghetti, and a really cute book, and um, enjoyed playing that little game. It's similar to Don't Break the Ice, where if the Yeti ends up falling into the bottom of the bowl then the game's over and, and we're done. So that was a lot of fun, but we, we were pretty busy today with all of that. So I'm coming to you in the evening and I know the lighting is always a bit questionable there, but it's the best I can do. So I hope that you've had a great Monday and I hope that you will come back and visit me again just as soon as I can get back to you, hopefully tomorrow. So take care and see you later. Bye-bye. What are, you, what are you making, Cooper? Oatmeal. For who? Pepper. Why? Um, because he is sick. <laughs>